New tonight, the head of a Hilo preschool that shut down in February, partly over lead concerns, says she signed a lease at a new location. Allison Blair tells us how soon she hopes to reopen. With the new location nailed down, the school's executive director tells me she'll be ready to submit an application for a state license in the next couple weeks. An exact date for when the school could reopen hasn't been set, but she says the goal is to have Keiki back in the classroom sometime in the next six months. Our families, our staff, our class materials have basically all been in standby mode as we have looked for a new campus. After vetting more than a dozen sites, Kim Pierce confirms this Halle will be the new home of Kalama PE Play School. It's located in Hilo on Mohuuli Street, about a mile and a half from the previous campus. It's about as turnkey as you can get. The location used to be a pediatrician's office. It's a fairly new building. It has been kept in immaculate shape. Finding the right property is a critical part of the licensing process. <laughs> and a big part of why the state never issued the preschool a license at its previous location. Although Pierce so spent tens of thousands of dollars to remediate right now, lead issues on clear. campus, We're the state wasn't convinced the school was safe. Pierce said she made the decision to close in February because she couldn't continue pouring money into the property with no guarantee of a license. She'll be. Sh 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 Meanwhile, the need for early childhood education on Hawaii Island has never been more great. Only about 15% of Kalama PE's 44 students were able to find another school, halting formal learning for dozens of keiki and forcing some families to make difficult decisions. There's parents who have left a job or gone to part time. In a statement, the Department of Human Services said, we are happy to hear that they found a new location and will work with Ms. Pierce to make the licensing process go as smoothly as possible. We fully expect that they will likewise cooperate with DHS to make sure that all of the necessary things, including a license, are in place before services begin. A license is just one component of what Pierce said she needs to reopen. The school also has to raise $50,000. And we need to do it by Halloween. And that is going to make it so we can cover costs and uh, deal with the expenses to ensure that we have everything that we need for kids to be on campus and start school, ideally within the next six months. If you'd like to donate, we've made it easy. Just head to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com, and click on this story. There you'll find a link to the school's donation page. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.